Right everybody, welcome to Black Ops 6 Zombies. Today we're going to be trying out the new guided mode and seeing, well, just how guided it is, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're going to be trying guided mode on Liberty Falls and we're going to do it with what I think is one of the worst weapons in the game. The 9mm PM, aka the Makarov, that you saw all the way back in the likes of Black Ops 1 and the Black Ops 2 campaign. Yeah, it's back, and it's pretty damn bad. Um, I actually wasn't originally going to do it on directed mode. It, it released, so I was like, oh hey, I might as well give it a try. As you can see, I have already got the rewards for directed mode, because I recorded this already, but I messed up the audio track. The gameplay audio is on all of the audio tracks. Just me having a skill issue. Anyway, uh, let's hop into sequel to Road to Director's Cut you actually never knew existed. This is Mode to Directed Cut. Roll the intro. <laughs> My favorite egghead. 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 Not just book smart, but street smart. All right, this is directed mode. As you can see, we've got an objective started of thing. That's just going to tell us to investigate the town. Now, I actually did this. The plan was still to do this with the worst weapon originally, when I originally recorded this. However, I did this with a Strider instead of the uh, Makarov, which was still a pretty bad experience, but at least I had a 30 round magazine. This one only has a 10 round magazine. You have a round cap as well. You just have to just casually munching on one of your zombie friends, dude. This is already a free shot to the head. Uh, you guys might be wondering, where have I been? I have been... I have been AWOL for the past, like, two weeks. You know, I haven't uploaded. And it, it feels good to be back, I will say. Uh, my computer decided it didn't really want to, you know, it didn't really fancy working. It decided that was, you know, too mainstream. And basically, what really happened was a Windows update knackered my hard drive. Everything got messed up. So, uh, yeah, thanks, Microsoft. I lost everything. So, like, all my stuff related to video editing and whatever. I had to re download all my sound effects and music and all that stuff that you know you have in these videos, you know. Play a couple of them now, future me. And all that. I had to remake my intro. Oh, sorry, no, not my intro, my outro as well. I had to remake my outro because obviously. That's, that's something in the process of uh, remaking now. The one you're going to see in this video is like a... Is, is an unfinished version of it. It's kind of like the one that I had, you know, before. Except uh, it's different. <laughs> this time around it's got, like, it's going to have more to it than just like the... the just, just a couple of those little icons. I am drawing out a couple more. Leave your suggestions in the comments for anything zombies related I can add to that outro. Uh, my favorite four suggestions that I will add. Actually, I, this is my third time running the Liberty Falls Easter egg, by the way. Because obviously, so obviously there's a recording I messed up before. There was a recording that I lost from that whole Windows update shenanigans as well. I lost that as well. And I also lost my recording of the two box shenanigans uh, live stream I did. The, the first half of World War II Zombies. So I'm going to have to find... A, some wizard fuckery way to uh, get that back, like get the uh, to download the stream in full resolution, frame rate, whatever, because you can only download in 720p, 30 frames per second. But don't worry, I'll be able to do that because I, I, that's what I had to do for um, the Infinite Warfare one as well, because I forgot to record it and stream it at the same time. Now, unfortunately, as a side effect of this uh, of the hard drive thingy, Majiki. I actually did lose, uh, I, it, it brings me a heavy heart to say, Dancing Rick Toffen is no longer with us. He was also lost with that. Although, um, obviously, as that meme went on for a year and never died, it certainly won't be dead for long. Yeah, although the second channel, the second channel was, uh, that, that got hit the most by this, because I had episode 2 and 3 of my Fallout 1 playthrough. Uh, I also had a couple of Phasmophobia videos. A Phasmophobia knockoff I found on Roblox, and... Oh yeah, I had a Roblox Doors video as well that me and the group recorded. So we reboot the SDG, that's our first objective. Right, we got... This is still absolute crap. Still. So yeah, this is gonna be a bit awkward, because I gotta pack-a-punch this thing. And I gotta... <laughs> I gotta... 
by Jug as well. This weapon is awful, dude. It's round six and I'm already struggling. Is that a double points, please? That'll be a double points. A max armor, are you kidding? Thank you for refilling my half an armor plate game. I'd love it if you refilled my bank right about now. Oh, hey, it's Dennis Ruffle Waffles. Holy shit. I didn't even get the objective for him yet. Oh my god. It's, 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 it's Mr. Riffle Wiffles. Oh, hey, double points. At the end of the round, we all love end of the round double points when you're barely fucking scraping by. At least I have enough to pack a punch to make this weapon slightly less crap. Right, we've got to search for clues inside the motel room. Okay. I wonder what will be in there. I wonder. I, I, I couldn't possibly know. I don't know what would ever be in there, man. Yeah, and then the, the go back to what I was saying about all the fucking videos I lost on the second channel. The one, the one thing I am absolutely gutted about though, more than anything else, Potato Mics 2. There's an animation I was working on since 2022, like I'd say spring, summer 2022, basically straight after I made the first one, so before I even started doing zombies on this channel. And it was funny as fuck. It, it was, it was absolutely just, it was, <laughs> I, there was one surviving audio clip of that. One. One surviving audio clip from that. The rest of it, it's lost media. Unless uh, I, I get the, the 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 group back together, the Potato Max group, to rub our free brain cells together and make something better than that. The shame that I never got to release that, but nah, whatever. I've still got other animated projects I can work on. Uh, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of a rebellious thing here. It says to break up the utility panel, and it's probably gonna go tell me to go run around and get this. <laughs> I'm a rebel. I'm a rebel. Oh, hi there. You're free money. I'd say get dancing Rick Doffin on screen, but I can't. He's dead. Please, can I open up the door? Nah. So yeah, I got my baked bean gun. Honestly, throwing a tin of baked beans at the zombies would probably hit harder than this thing. I mean, come on now. It's, it's, it's not good. I think it's... Still at least a one-shot headshot, I think, maybe, potentially, perhaps, maybe, probably, no, no, wait, maybe it's damage range? Okay, at, at up close, it's still a one-shot to the head. At range, it isn't. Well, quantity over quality, you're not getting either with a bloody PM. Let's go do this bloody water valve. All right, and we just throw that smoke grenade down, which will help us with the water valve. And this will help us for about 15 seconds. That's a bit generous, to be fair. More like two seconds, it felt like. And now we get out of here. we got to kill all the zombies and try again. Without getting our armor absolutely destroyed, though. Preferably. Just looking side to side like we're playing Five Nights at Liberty Lanes. Fuck you, zombies. <laughs> we just need a mangler to spawn now and then. Uh, they made a change, by the way, to the way um, the way the manglers work when it comes to Liberty Falls. Now, it isn't enough to the spawn rates. No, why would they do that? But basically, the what they've changed is the first mangler who you shoot an arm cannon off will always drop an arm cannon, which makes the makes getting that shed open like 10 times easier. I'm gonna upgrade my weapon a bit. I'm also gonna go get dead shot. All right, let's go. Did I buy it or am I lagging? I was lagging for some reason, okay. So now this thing is quite a bit better suddenly. I just need speed cola now and then my weapons will be basically as good as it can be. I'm genuinely so surprised that there is no manglers about. Like where are they? Where is he? Where is Mango? Where is Mango boy? I hear one. I hear one. I hear one. Where is he? Alright, I got Mango Cannon. Also, that is a golden loot key. I am now very interested to see what that's going to give me. As a matter of fact, I might just open the bloody thingy. Um, you're a troll. 
You're actually a troll. You either can't use that in guided mode, or I just got absolutely scammed. Did you know he had a little uh, when I uh, when I got that? Okay, so as it turns out, um, the actual the interact prompt for the vault box, like the deposit box, is bugged, uh, and it only like triggers in a certain area. You can see it here. Uh, it wasn't actually a troll or anything like that. It's just bugged. Anyway, I actually got to do the objectives. Whilst Blanchard is not going to be very happy with me. He's going to be like, you're not doing the objective. We, we got to stop this outbreak. Come on, be, you got to be book smart and street smart, you know. Where is it? Oh. Oh, uh, okay, they dropped and I didn't notice. Okay. I feel like the COD Zombies community, there's always that one, like, side character who they sort of obsess over every year. There was the likes of, you had, obviously this year it seems to be Blanchard. Last year had Barrera. I pressed the wrong button. The year before that, well, I don't even know what it would be for Vanguard. Oh no, Dr. Pelletier, my favorite egghead. Not just book smart, but street smart. <laughs> I, I, I got so distracted by that, I jumped off the truck. That's how you know I'm not either book smart or street smart. Perceive of caution, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what could go wrong listening to this guy, man? What could go wrong? One of you lab goats was going to survive. What? <laughs> Sometimes, but seriously, <laughs> he's cutting himself off. <laughs> what the fuck? Right, so I've now got to defend this bloody. I've got to. I've got to defend this bloody LTG. Whilst Panos talks to himself. Fucking hell, they're everywhere. They're biting me. They're biting me. Oh. I can't take this. Oh. oh my Jesus Christ, they're actually fucking everywhere now. Oh my god, frame drops. There's a mangler. Are you joking? Alright, well, we've got some ammo at least. Alright, I've now got to be really careful not to shoot his other head off. Yeah, originally I wanted my video to coming back to be uh, doing the Terminus Easter egg because I had. Uh, I was doing that on a stream. Before, uh, before you know, season one came out. I wanted to see if I could try to get that done before you know, director mode came out. But you know, as you can see, here I am. Obviously, that hasn't gone very well. Double time it back here before we lose that precious. All right, I'll carry a bloody grape juice back to you, or at least I hope that's what it is. Sorry, what's that? It's not grape juice. It's black currant squash. All right, fair enough. Oh, Strauss counter. This is a. Uh, this is uh, how you count the fresh Ethereum before you snort it. All right, so let's count the Strausses. So there's a low Strauss here. There's low amounts of Strauss there, so plenty of unsnorted Ethereum. So we've had to set it to red mode, which means um, that there is large quantities of unsnorted Ethereum. <laughs> What's going to be quick revive? That's going to be the last thing. I don't know what they've done to the quick revive jingle. It's different, and I don't know why. Like, I don't know what's up with that. Ah, I thought that zombie was sus. I thought he was a little sussy Amogus. <laughs> a sussy little backer. Alright, uh, there's also low Strausses here as well. Which means high amounts of fresh Ethereum. Or maybe it's low because Strauss has already been here and snorted all the Ethereum. But no, he's been in prison, so he can't have done that. Unless... <laughs> Unless. Oh, and a medium amount of Strauss is here. Okay, so Strauss is nearby this area. So there may be some snorted Ethereum. Right, we drop this over by the emitter. We then grab this. And now it's time to fucking die. Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. It's the end. They're everywhere. They're abiding me. Oh, God. It's like the exact opposite of a defensible position. Defendable position? I don't even know. Why are there heavy zombies? Why the fuck are there heavy zombies? There's a mango here as well. Fuck you, mango boy. Actually, I'm not doing too bad at this. I should shut up. I should shut up. I should really shut up. I should really shut the fuck up. Okay. That was far better than last time, actually. Oh, of course, we have zombies actually spawning. 
And a normal manga as well. Are you kidding me? I missed the Semtex. Couldn't be me. Get that thing ripped off and on screen. Oh wait, he's dead. Or is he? Make sure that I don't actually get killed by the trap myself. Alright. We've got 1 minute and 30 seconds to bring the, 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 the great juice back. Yeah, okay, that's definitely not ominous at all. I mean, what could go wrong working with this guy, huh? What could go wrong, hmm? What could go wrong working with Dr. P... No, I mean, Panos. Remember when people thought it was going to be the church from Buried? <laughs> oh, we actually have another double pack right now, okay. I probably could have upgraded the rarity, but oh well. Well, here we go. We've got the funny music playing. Oh, I say funny music, we've got the cool music playing. Uh-oh, Mangler. And there goes Mangler, all right, cool. There's another Mangler. Oh my god, it's the high round experience. Okay, this this pistol is being very good. It's cleaning houses of third fucking Mangler. It, sorry, it's round 15. Alright. That's a good... That's a good first wave, right? That's a good first wave, right? I'm sorry. Did I just see a fucking plus one? I'm about to no. That might just be my eyes legitimately playing tricks on me. Like, there's us down here fighting for our lives. Panos is up there grooving to this goddamn music, dude. No, I definitely did not see plus one pop up over the SDG. I was gonna say, I know this is guided mode, but I don't think it's gonna be that guided, dude. Bloody hell. Oh dear. Oh dear. I appear to be stuck in a corner. There's a mangler. It's a big mangler. It's a big man, Gla. It's a big man, Gla. Do these spiders have Commando Pro? I'm telling you. There goes a Mangler. Right, you're not gonna wait for big boy Amogus Abomination to spawn. Oh, Manglers again. Oh, hey. The high round experience. Why is he sprinting already? That's what I wanna know. Oh my god, there he is. Red Sus! Red Sus! <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Oh god. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, Red got ejected. A lot of heavy zombies, okay. Why are they all heavy zombies? The end is nigh. Oh no. Thank you, my friends, for volunteering to take my place here. Or, in your parlance, thank you for being voluntold. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a few scores to settle. Bye bye, Dark Ether. Well, ain't that a kick in the panos?